Hello and welcome to the Company Interiors channel. My name's Nick Clark and you know by now that our videos throughout our channel are all about bringing nature into the man-made environment, whether that's with moss walls, whether that's with preserved plants. We are all about biophilic design, that is bringing nature into the man-made environment wherever we can. And what would be better than this brand new product that we have just launched? There will be links in the description description to all the products that I'm going to show you today and today we are making some botanical pictures using some of our preserved plants and these are ferns, preserved ferns. Now these are some of the oldest plant life found on our planet, found in fossils 360 million years ago. A complex plant that is vascular. It brings water and nutrients up through its complex tissues of leaves and that is how it reproduces and it reproduces using spores. It has no seeds, it has no flowers. So an incredibly complex um, and beautiful looking plant that we today are going to show our appreciation of in a memorable, amazing, one-off product. A botanical picture is what we're going to make for you today. These are some of the samples that I've been working with and I'm going to bring you over to my workbench and I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself. You can of course buy these from our store, there are links in the description, but today I'm going to show you how you can buy it and you can also, or you can make it yourself. It is that simple. So we have a range of 10 different ferns. They range from two colours in red or green. They vary in size and scale from singular leaves to doubles in greens and reds. And in today's video, we're looking at some of these ferns and how we can use those not only on displays on walls or plants or pots or floral displays, but actually how about a botanical looking picture that is from the Victorian age in style. So let me take you over to the workbench and I'll show you how we make these. So, in our picture, we're looking at our range of plants, and today I'm choosing the ostrich fern, the red ostrich fern, simply for its complexity. Now, in some of the others that we have made today, we have a parchment fern, um, also fits beautifully into this frame. Um, it has a border around it and these are in a walnut frame uh, that are also on our um, on our site in the description. So let's show you how simple it really is. Let's clear some of these products off the bench and choose which one of the ferns that I'm going to be using today. So today I am going to be using the ostrich fern. So the ostrich fern here, straight out of the packet, fits beautifully onto this white background and that for me is just highlighting all of the detail of the fern itself and all the amazing detail. Now we say botanical in terms of this is originally how these were found and these would have been drawn, um, particularly in the Victorian age, this is a very popular thing to do. So we simply have our frame, we're just going to take the backing off, the mounting, now these are the frames that we offer, but of course you, you have the option of buying your own frame or using your own frame. You're just trying to get the size. So we have a Perspex front, has Perspex protection that would take that off at the last minute for a nice clear image. Set that to one side, turn the frame back around. So that will be the Perspex first, then it's gonna be our white image, then it's gonna be the frame, then it's gonna be the backing. So what we are going to do is we're going to set that frame in. This of course is the wrong way round, but we're just trying to see how our fern is going to fit. So that, and remember there is a border that goes around that. So let's have a look at the border. So that is actually going to take some of my fern away. So I know what I want to do is I want to bond that so that fits within that frame as such. 
okay so when it's going to come to do it is that I would actually just put a small pencil mark or a small pen mark on where I need that to actually finish like that off nice and strong so don't forget you're working in reverse here so what I'm going to do is you know I'll give that some time just to dry off but that glue does go off very quickly so I'm just going to snip the end of the stem Hold that in position. And there we are in real time. In real time, botanical ferns. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell to get more videos, and we'll see you again.